the best way to understand what software radio is is by analogy to the personal computer. If you look back in the 1970s, before the personal computer, if you look at the desk of any white collar office worker, you'd find a typewriter, a telephone, an adding machine, lots of different office equipment. Along comes the PC. Depending on what software you load on it, it can do any of those jobs or a bunch of different ones. So software radio does exactly the same thing to communications devices. Today you have a walkie-talkie, a cell phone, a garage door opener. Every different communications function has a different device. With software radio, we have a single generic platform, and depending on what software we run on it, it can do any of those different jobs for you. Software radio is coming to you in a way that's very transparent. You can't see it today. In fact, software radio techniques are being used in almost every communications device built today, every radio communications device, except for really the cheapest ones. Uh, so it's coming to you in the form of devices that are coming to market more quickly, they're cheaper, they have more functionality, uh, and what you're starting to see is devices that can do lots of different functions for you. A cell phone that works both in US and Europe, or a uh, card for your PC that's going to give you 802.11 and some kind of a cellular connectivity. That's where you're going to see it the soonest. SDR is useful for government agencies, you know, public safety, first responders, the military, and so on, for two main reasons. First of all, it's uh, got the property that it's upgradable in the field. If you're going to buy that equipment and keep it for 10 or 20 years like the military does, it's really beneficial not to be locked into whatever the communication standard was on day one. The other big advantage is with a software radio, because you can run different pieces of software, you can actually talk to multiple different standards at the same time, or just flip a switch and go from a public safety standard to a military standard to a commercial standard. And that means that for those folks whose jobs require them to talk to lots of different agencies, uh, then one device can enable them to do that instead of carrying lots of different devices. A good example would be a disaster scene like a building collapse or something where you have all these ambulances and fire trucks and maybe if it's a really big disaster the National Guard shows up. All those people need to be able to talk to each other. Software radio is a way that the technology can help them do that.